Dear friends, we are here for the second part of today's worship, that is walking with Jesus, the crucified in his passion, death. Somebody who was sharing with me this morning, what would have been Christ's greatest sorrow when he died? It is what happened to the other side of the hill, Judas, who died looking only into himself. Maybe that would have been Christ's greatest sorrow. When he died for all of this, Judas died to himself. And he is lifted up, died for all of us to take away our sins and give us life. Whatever be our condition, despair, sorrow, fear, anxiety, he has died for us. May this journey, as we walk together, transform us and give us this true experience of God's life, the salvation into our life. Let's in a moment of silence reflect ourselves and walk with Jesus in this journey so that we become truly not mere spectators but people who will be transformed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. An act of contrition. My Redeemer and my God, behold me as your heart, repenting of my sins with all my heart, because we are confessed to your intimate goodness. I would rather die than offend you again, because I love you above all things. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Holy Mother, bless me to in my heart. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. This first station presents to us the Praetorium of Pilate, where our divine Redeemer is condemned to death. Consider, O my soul, how Pilate condemned to death of the cross Jesus, the most innocent, and how he willingly submitted to this sentence in order that we might be freed from eternal damnation. Together, O oh Jesus, and I thank you for so much help, and I beseech you to cast out the sentence of eternal death, deserved by my sins, so that I may be made worthy to enjoy eternal life. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us. Holy Mother, Seriously, in my heart, Jesus falls afraid. 
first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because I am only trusting and in you, Lord. This third station represents to us how Jesus fell the first time beneath the weight of the cross. Consider, O oh my soul, how a blessed Lord, not being able to bear the heavy weight, fell beneath the cross, thus experiencing excessive pain. O oh Jesus, my repeated falls in the sin, are the cause of your suffering. Grant me the grace, I beseech you, never to renew your pain by any more sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Holy Mother, bless me truly, my heart, each children of my Savior crucified. Every stain and to be written upon my mind and heart. 
your most sacred passion. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Holy Mother, yes, we show my heart, the children of my Savior crucified.
in the station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. This tenth station represents to us how Jesus, as soon as he reached Mount Calvary, was stripped of his clothes and given bitter gall to drink. Consider, O oh my soul, the deep confusion of Jesus on being stripped of his clothes and his suffering at being forced to drink the bitter mixture of God and men. O oh Jesus, I am and sorry, sorry for the name of Jesus and I have taken in the past, and the soul never walked up with you, just as I am. But to Christ is more sweet and generous, with his hand of confidence of to me, with the assistance of your grace. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us. Pierce me through in my heart, Jesus, the name of my Savior, crucified. Holy Mother, pierce me through in my heart, Jesus, the name of my Savior, crucified. Consider, O oh my soul, the racking pain that Jesus suffered as he felt the nails piercing his hands and feet. How immense was the cruelty of his enemies. How great the love of Jesus for us. O oh Jesus, you, you suffer so much for me, and yet I avoid every pain. Day to day my will to your holy cross, so that it may be resolved never again. Have mercy on us, Holy Mother. Pierce me through in my heart, Jesus, the name of my Savior, crucified. Let me share with you this Divine Son in her arm. O Most Holy Virgin, 
together, O oh God, you will have the gracious love of your only begotten Son, sanctify the center of the heavenly cross, grant we beseech you that those who rejoice in honoring the same holy cross may everywhere also enjoy your protection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father that we may also gain the indulgence that is associated with this devotion of the way of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us from our temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, We shall now receive the blessing with the crucifix. Jesus on the cross going to bless us, let us kneel and let us surrender our families, our conditions, everything to the Lord, our fears, anxieties, and ask this Jesus who was lifted up for us, that he may lift us up too from our fear, from our sin, from all that is unholy in us, and we may really experience this event of salvation in our life. May divine assistance through the crucified Saviour Jesus come down on you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. May you live the crucified. 
Allah.